it's Juliana from Stagged. Today we're at Swiss View. It's located in a quiet landed enclave and it's known for its accessibility, the low density environment and its close proximity to nature reserves. So today we're here to take a tour of a three bedroom home that's located in a condominium called La Swiss 2. So let's get right to it and begin this tour. We have a curated selection of products from over 30 local and overseas brands. Discover the best of what's out there all in one place. Head over to the Stack Store now and refresh your home. So just a quick background about this home. This is a three-bedroom with three full baths and a terrace. It's got a total size of 2,043 square feet and the homeowners are a family of three who moved in in March 2022. They did do quite a fair bit of renovation to spruce up the interior and layout of this space, spending about $300,000. But as always, let us start off at the entrance. As you enter through this main door, you'll immediately get a sense of how spacious this home really is. It's got a 2.7 meter tall ceiling coupled with herringbone wood floor tiles that spread across this entire home except in the kitchen, service yard and bathrooms. Right next to the main entrance, there is a standalone entryway console. It's nicely furnished with decor items and there's also a round mirror that hangs right above it. Super handy for one last fit check before you head out the door. Next to the main entrance, there's an area that's carved out for a storeroom. So flush along this entire wall, you have four height cabinets where you can neatly store away your general home items. And because this storeroom stretches all the way to the back of the home, there are windows in here providing this room with natural light and ventilation. Moving on to the kitchen, just look at how lovely this space really is. This used to be enclosed but the homeowners have removed this wall to convert this into an open kitchen. And demarcating the kitchen from the rest of the home is the use of this visually stunning black and white square floor tiles. Opening up the kitchen also allows this section of the home to feel more fluid and airy and also allows for natural light to flow in from the kitchen window into the dining room. This kitchen was designed for work and eat so on a usual day, this is a work from home spot for the homeowners as they are able to use the plug points available right under this counter. And on the other side, the homeowners have provision for a dishwasher. This does make hosting large groups of guests a little bit more comfortable. So apart from just lifestyle, this kitchen was designed with convenience in mind. There are two sinks in this kitchen, one on the island and the other on the back counter. And speaking of kitchen counters, there is more countertop area over here, along with a Bertazzoni standing cooker. I can just imagine prepping and cooking meals with this view out the window. On one side, we have the standalone fridge and on the other, a little coffee nook over here. So you'll find an espresso machine along with two grinders for your caffeine fix. And overall, this is just a very good sized kitchen. I can see four to six people fitting in here at one time with still enough space for you to comfortably maneuver around. This kitchen is definitely one of the main highlights of this home for me. Connected to the kitchen and through this door, you'll find the service yard. So the homeowner has designed this area as a dedicated space for the helper to enjoy some privacy and comfort. This room is currently occupied by their helper and it fits a full-size 1.8 meter single bed along with a two-panel wardrobe. Uh, in the past, most of the helper rooms that we've seen also don't have a window, so it's definitely very refreshing to see one over here. On this end, we have full high cabinets for general storage and on the side, a sizable full bath that's primarily used by the helper. All in all, I feel like this is a job well done in making this service yard feel like a tiny cozy home within a home. And right in front of the open kitchen, we have the dining room. So here we have a 2.2 meter long custom marble table that fits six. On one side, upholstered dining chairs, along with a long bench with a backrest on the other. And because the owner is Dutch, he has opted to place these two beautiful pendant lights right above it. This is from an Amsterdam brand and it just reminds him a little bit of home. So these pendant lights do very well in softly illuminating this space. Through this corridor, you'll be able to find the bedrooms, but before we take a look at that, let us just check out the rest of this home. This living room is well proportioned to the size of this home. It's able to fit large group gatherings, but it's also furnished in such a way that it's comfortable enough for laid back lounging. You've got a good mix of seating options around here. We've got a four-seater sofa along with low cushion stools and even a chaise. So I noticed a well-curated blend of different colours and textures. It definitely all works very well together. 
Adjacent to the living room is the terrace. This is separated by this sliding glass door. And you see that the terrace itself is 400 square feet, almost the same size as the living room that we just saw. This area is fully sheltered. It's got a ceiling fan fitted along with full lighting which makes it easy for hosting even in the evenings. The majority of this terrace is tiled flooring but there are also sliding panel screens along the perimeter for added privacy. This does help make the terrace a fully functional one. So here you'll find an outdoor lounge setup but there's also a carpeted grass section at this corner where you'll find some exercise equipment. But now let's head back in to check out the rooms. Moving further into the home, you'll find the common bathroom. So this is primarily used by guests or the occupants of the two common bedrooms. It's nicely laid out. We've got the sink and the toilet on one half and the shower occupying the entire half on the other side. The walls are two-toned as well. We've got emerald green tiles at the bottom paired with the white subway tiles on the top. And not too far off, we have the first common bedroom. So upon first impressions as I'm stepping in, this has got to be one of the largest secondary bedrooms I've come across ever. And the reason for this might be because there used to be a storeroom that was in the middle of this home but that was demolished and combined with this bedroom. So the bedroom entrance used to be here, it was facing the living room but it has since been relocated to create more travel between the living and the bedrooms, also providing you with a bit more privacy. This space is currently used as a nursery and apart from the addition of square footage, no other major works were done over here. The room is also fitted out with loose finishings as the homeowner would like to change the layout as their children grow older. So I can totally imagine this being converted into a proper bedroom. It can fit a full-size bed along with its own dedicated study. Our next stop is the second common bedroom. So this room is visibly smaller than the bedroom that we saw earlier, but that's because it was reduced in size to accommodate more square footage in the adjacent master. This room does get in a whole lot of natural light during the day and it's currently used as a home study but could be converted into a proper bedroom if need be in the future. And finally, the master bedroom. So as you enter, you'll notice that the master bedroom is divided into two sections. We'll be taking a look at the walk-in wardrobe first. We've got full high cabinets lining both walls of this walk-in wardrobe with the internal compartments specially customised and designed to suit the occupant's storage needs. And at the end of the walk-in wardrobe, we have a brightly lit master bathroom. This bathroom has the same accents as the kitchen in terms of furnishing and they've managed to get in a lot more usable space by pulling from the common bedroom that we saw earlier, even able to fit this dual sink. We've got black and white floor tiles paired with grey wall tiles, plus we've got this black line that's running throughout it all, wrapping around the entire bathroom, such a simple yet effective way to create visual interest. And behind the walk-in wardrobe, we have the sleeping area of this bedroom. This space is spacious enough for you to fit a European king-size bed along with bedside tables. And over here, we do have an eclectic bedroom bench at the foot of the bed. Apart from this, there's also a single armchair in the corner that acts as a reading nook, coupled with this standalone console and a wall-mounted TV. All in all, I have to say I really appreciate all the colours, textures and materials used in this room. Very well done. So now that you've seen this home, let me share with you more about this development as a whole. La Suisse 2 is located in a prime district 11 along 1 to 7 Swiss view and it's nestled within the landed home and good class bungalow enclave. This 999 year leasehold condominium TOP'd in 1994 and there are a total of 48 units that are spread across 3 residential blocks. The unit mix comes in the form of 3 and 4 bedrooms with sizes ranging from 1,679 square feet to 2,160 square feet. And finally, for more information about this development, you can read more at stackedhomes.com editorial. This unit is currently not up for sale, but if you like one just like this, you can reach out to us via our website as well. So as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave us a comment, and hit that notification bell for updates on future videos. That's all that I have for you today. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.